Hi, welcome to Tech Bytes with Hef. Today we're going to make a virtual classroom using Google Slides. Let's get started. So open up a Google Slides, go to the top left and name your project. I named, it my, named mine Cardio Classroom. Go to Layout and change it to blank and then go to background. We need to put the background of our Google uh, virtual classroom in. I'm gonna choose an image. I open up my Google Drive and there's a background image that I purchased from Vector Stock. And I'm gonna put that in as my background. All right, let's move on. So you have your background and now let's talk about transitions. In your virtual classroom, you want the students to click on an image and have it transition to another slide in your presentation that has an assignment. You don't want them to just click on the background and have it automatically transition to the next slide. So we have to put in a way that prevents that. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to insert and you're gonna type, click on shape and you're gonna get a rectangle and draw a rectangle on your screen. Now you're gonna right click and you're gonna click on link. Now you can also um, insert a link at the top toolbar, but we're gonna right click. Um, you're gonna click on slides in this presentation and then click on slide one and apply. Take that rectangle, bring it down to the corner and then size it so that it fills up the entire screen. Now go to your toolbar and find the fill color, click on that, and then click on transparent. So now you have a, a, fill, a, a screen over your background so that when they click on the background picture, um, it'll just take them back to the original place that they're in. Okay, let's move on. So now we're going to start putting in images that we're going to use as links to our assignments. So I am going to go to insert image, and then I can upload from my computer, my drive, photos, a URL, or a camera. I'm gonna use my drive. When you click on that, your drive will pop up on the right, and I'm just simply going to start dropping and dragging images. So I'm gonna take this image and drag it. It is a poster that I've created from openphyzed.org. Then I'm going to click on this GIF that I created in gifmaker.com. Then I'm going to click on a Bitmoji that I created with the Bitmoji app. Final thing that I'm gonna put in for demonstration purposes is a video. So I'm going to go back to insert. I'm going to click on video and then I can either use a URL or bring from my Google Drive and I'm going to choose um, YouTube video that I have on my channel and I'm just going to paste that URL in, click on it and then select it. And then it'll pop up and I can resize that. All right. Let's move on. So you can see that I've added some images to our virtual classroom. I've added a chalkboard or a whiteboard that gives directions on how to proceed through the class, and I've added numbers. Now you could add uh, audio or video instead of the whiteboard, whatever you choose. So now what we need to do is we need to put in the assignments. And in order to do that, we're going to need to link a picture to a new slide. So um, the number one is a video and I'm gonna have them just watch that video right here in the classroom. So I'm not going to make it a link for that. As soon as they click on it, it will start playing. But number two, I want to make a link to. So I'm gonna um, go to slide and I'm gonna add a new slide and I'm going to make the layout blank. Then I go back to the classroom, my home page, and I'm gonna click on the image that I wanna to link to slide two. And then up on your toolbar, you'll see a little link. 
and it will give you an option to paste a link or search for something or put it in slides in this presentation. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna link that picture to slide number two. See how it says slide number two over there and then apply. We're gonna do that same process for each of the other images that we wanna to link to. So I click on, I'd add a new slide. I click on the image, click on link. And this one is going to get linked to slide number three. And I would do the same thing for number four. Let's move on. Okay, we've added some slides. And now let's take a look at what happens in present mode. So here we are, and I'm gonna present on this device, and this is my iPad I'm using. And I'm gonna click on number two on the image, and it will take me to that page because I made a link. Now notice I've added a video. So when the students get to this page, they're gonna play that video. Take a look at this perceived exertion card. During this next activity, let's see if you can work hard enough so that you are in between the moderate to vigorous physical activity sections. Good luck, get started. Now, if you don't wanna do a video, you could have written instructions or you could insert audio. But take a look down on the right-hand side. Now they're on this page and I don't want them to go to the next slide. So you have to put in that uh, transparent screen over your background again. And then I added an image that says, let's go back. And now I've linked that back to our homepage so that when I click on it, it takes me back to the homepage and they can move on to part three. Okay, let's move on. We're back on our homepage and we want to take a look at number three. We've linked number three to slide three. And on slide three, I'm going to insert a video. This video is from my YouTube site. I've clicked it in there already. And I created this uh, video on using Animaker. Now that will insert and then a pop-up screen will come on the side. I want this video to play by itself automatically without them having to click on it. So I'm gonna put autoplay when presenting. And now when they present, they come to this slide it'll just start automatically because I have nothing to say about it. The instructions are on the video. Okay, uh, let's move on. So we have one more animation down here. It's a little GIF and we're not gonna link that GIF to a slide in our presentation. We're going to link it to a Google Jamboard. A Google Jamboard is a interactive whiteboard. And I want the students to reflect on today's lessons. So I'm going to click on our GIF and then link. And then I'm gonna to go to my Jamboard and share it. Now I can share it with my students or I can copy the link. So I'm gonna copy the link. I'm going to go back to my virtual classroom and insert that link and you'll see that it pops up and shows you where it's linked to, okay? So that's it for all of our links. Now you might wanna to decide to link to a final page where you say goodbye and congratulations, that's a choice is up to you, but you have all the tools you need now to create your own virtual classroom. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's Tech Bite with Hev. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.